Blue Ox Energy Products and Services is the exclusive HVAC and fuel company of hometown sports. Good luck to all the athletes this year. We're in Enwell for Maine. Enwell versus Johnson City. On the Spartans' first drive of the game, they're punting. Only the ball sails way over the punter's head. He kicks it out of the end zone for a safety, and the Wildcats are up 2 to nothing. After trading punts, Chris Edmondson takes the handoff and bounces outside. He sprints down the sideline on touch for a 35-yard touchdown, but Johnson City's up 8 to nothing. On Johnson City's next possession, Milton Harding almost gets taken out by his own man. He regains composure and chucks the ball into triple coverage, where Jared Manzer does the manly thing and makes the catch and takes it in from 34 yards out, put the Wildcats up 16 to nothing. In the second quarter, Harding spins off his own man and takes it into the end zone from 13 yards out to put Johnson City ahead 22 to nothing on their way to a 35 to 14 victory. This little guy is excited about the Kander Newfield game. We're in the third quarter with Kander up 14 to 9. Dustin Quick, who's back from an injury, gets the ball and he gets around the corner and breaks some tackles. He's gone for a 63-yard touchdown and Kander takes a 20 to 9 lead. Quick gets it again on the option pitch and fakes three guys out of their socks as he cuts it back inside. He spins does a little shake and bake action and finishes it off with a Superman into the end zone and Kander goes on to win the game 25 to 15. We're at Elmira Notre Dame High School for the Crusaders against Shenango Forks. First quarter, John Morrison gets picked off by Dylan Rittenberg. He takes it in for a touchdown but a clipping penalty brings it back. Then from the three, Rick Morabito gives it to Tyler Spencer, and he takes it into the end zone to give the Blue Devils a 7-0 lead on their way to a 41-14 shellacking of Elmira Notre Dame. We're in Tioga for Trumansburg versus Tioga. Blue Raiders' first possession, quarterback Chad Moore keeps it and spins into the open. He takes it through the secondary and into the end zone for a 44-yard touchdown, and Trumansburg takes a 6-0 lead. On their second possession, Moore gives it to Carl Lupo, and Mr. Speedy picks up 25 yards and gets to the 11. Lupo gets it again, and he takes it to the house for a touchdown, and Trumansburg goes up 14 to nothing on their way to winning 58 to 14. We're at Dick Hoover Stadium in Vestal for Vestal versus Union Endicott. Second quarter, Vestal's up 9 to nothing. Union Endicott's punting. Brad Cook blocks it, and Ken Sherwood takes it to the house for a touchdown, and the Golden Bears take a 16-0 lead. In the third quarter, Vestal's looking for more, but Nate Davis's pass is intercepted by the Tigers' Mark Reel. He takes it down to the 20. A little later, Justin Harbs would take it in from two yards out, and Huey gets back in it. It's 16-6. Nate Davis goes to the air, and he finds Chris Dukowski for a 32-yard completion. Rich Brown gets it at the 11-yard line and takes it into the end zone for a touchdown, and Vestal takes a 23-6 lead. We move to the fourth quarter, and it's fourth and goal from the one for Vestal, and Davis decides to take it in by himself, and the score sends Vestal to a 30-6 victory over Union Endicott. We're in Conklin for Sus Valley versus Norwich. We're in the second half with Norwich down 14 to 7. The Sabres fumble the ball and Norwich recovers. We move to the fourth quarter with this drive and Norwich goes for it on fourth and one. Brennan Ryan gets it and picks up the one plus a bunch more to get the first down. Norwich has it at the five and Brennan gets it again. He takes it in for the touchdown and Norwich pulls to within one. It's 14 to 13. They go for two, and Keegan Edwards tries a jump pass that Zach Williams comes up with, and Norwich takes a 15-14 lead with 10 minutes left in the game. The Sabres have a fourth down inside the 20, and Dave Blackney passes it, but Alex Paula intercepts it, and Norwich dodges a bullet. The Sabres have one last chance with this field goal attempt, but it's no good, and Norwich wins the game and gets into the playoffs.